Ooh, I'm gonna be shining like the glazed donut that you didn't eat this morning. Ooh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ohima. Welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hey. In today's video, I am going to do drugstore makeup, okay? We're doing some actual makeup that you can find in drugstores, but I'm also doing some makeup that are in the drugstore price range because not all products that are actually in the drugstore range can be found in drugstores okay so if you want to see what products i use and what brands they're from and essentially maybe i might put the price maybe not but if you want to see these drugstore these drugstore and drugstore priced products that i'm going to be using today then keep on watching Okay, so first things first, we're going to be taking a look at a box that we got in labeled CVS X Nima Tang. And we were, we actually got this in PR. Oh no. <laughs> it is all over the place. Look. It was a Maybelline Mini City palette. It's everywhere. I'm not even going to try to open it because the table is going to be dirty. I don't think I have enough wipes to wipe everything off. So. What I'm gonna do is take this away from here and we're gonna clean them up. We're gonna clean it up later. Um, but this box actually was sent because it says, as the first beauty inclusivity consultant for CVS Pharmacy, um, she got to cover everything. So essentially the box is supposed to reflect majority of the products that are available at CVS for us to purchase. If you didn't know, Nima Tang is the first ever beauty inclusivity consultant for CVS Pharmacy. She's working with them to bring to life the representation in beauty that she wasn't able to find growing up, making the CVS Beauty Owls more inclusive for everyone, okay? So to celebrate it, she wanted to share her favorite CVS finds, which included all the products that I just showed you guys. So our CVS box did not pan out the way I wanted it to. I was hoping I was gonna be able to use a few of the products in there to do my makeup. But with the way things are going and with the Maybelline getting everywhere, I'm just going to skip it. We're going to clean it off and we're probably going to be using it. And, and we're going to try to use it in our next drugstore video, okay? Which is going to be very, very, very soon, okay? I am going to start out with skin. I think I want to do skin first. So first I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Total Face Duo Sponges. Um, they say you can use this wet or dry. So we're going to be using, well we're actually going to be using it damp. We're not going to be using it wet or dry. We're going to be using it damp, okay? I am going to go ahead and prep my skin. Now, I used this product the last time and a lot of you said that you like using this. But I have also been using my e.l.f. Matte Oil Controlling Primer and I love this a whole lot. Y'all know I like this, so I'm going to link it down below just in case you don't know or if you've never seen me use it before. So for today, we're going to be using No Pore Zone Mattifying Primer. I have used this product before and a lot of you actually really, really like what this primer does. So we're going to be using this first. It has a slip to it for sure like that much i cannot deny okay but this is what it looks like on my face i am going to be going in with the elf blotting mist and this blotting mist has colon clay in it definitely keeps my face matte for a really really long time okay and while it's settling down i am going to be using once again a milani <laughs> i'm going to be using the milani conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation this is the shade number 18 i will link the video of me trying this product out for the first time down below so you guys can see it there was a wear test that happened so if you want to see how it wore and what it did on my oily skin i will leave the link down below so you can check it out okay i'm gonna be using the elf i'm using the elf total sponge duo total Total Face Sponge Duo to blend it in. Okay, I'm just gonna let it settle down and, you know, dry down a bit because when I put the setting spray on, it was not, um, I didn't let it dry down before I started putting this on. So I'm just gonna wait for it to dry down a bit. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with CoverGirl True Blend 
undercover concealer. Oh, I feel like this is the deepest drugstore concealer that I have ever seen or tried that actually like is deep enough that I can use as a concealer shade. Even though it's so pretty light. Majority of the drugstore concealers that I have tried are entirely too bright for me to use. Especially with the way that I like to blend in my concealer, it makes it so difficult to blend and get that balanced look that I want. But this one is not so bad. It's very thick. I really like the finish on it too. Okay, I'm gonna blend it with this side of the e.l.f. sponge. Man, I feel like this thing blended in like two, two taps and it was already completely blended in. I know you guys saw it too, right? I completely forgot that I put anything on my face because I'm looking at my under eyes and I'm thinking I didn't put anything on. But it's because of how beautifully blended this concealer was. The skin work! Like, the skin work! Do you guys see this? It looks so good. I really, really like, I really love the way my skin is looking right now, okay? It's, it's gorgeous. I don't have any drugstore setting powders, okay? So I'm gonna be using my Ben Nye setting powder. I've been, uh, I have abandoned my Ben Nye setting powder. Baby, I'm jealous. Hey, baby, I'm jealous. I miss this powder. I haven't used it in such a long time because I've been using other setting powders, but I really miss this powder. This is the shade. This is nutmeg. This is nutmeg. I haven't used chestnut in over a year. The chestnut was the first setting powder from Ben Nye that I started using. And then I graduated to nutmeg because nutmeg was from the luxury line. And the shade balance, it balances better for me. So I started using nutmeg. Now if you're somebody like me who has lines under your eyes and I've had lines forever, I like to look up when I'm blending my concealer under my eyes and I also look up when I'm setting it. That way it can smooth out and set exactly where it's supposed to set, okay? I'm applying some of the setting powder to my neck because this is how I balance out my neck shade with the rest of my makeup, especially after I apply my setting powder. I just apply some of the setting powder to my neck so it helps like even everything out a lot better. Plus I hate putting foundation on my neck so. <laughs> the only thing in this whole routine that I'm using that's not drugstore or like in the price range of drugstore is this. It's actually from Dose of Colors. It's the wing liner, but what I'm gonna be using it is for my brows. I don't know why they call it a wing liner and they put a brow spoolie at the end of it because my regular brow brush is this thin and it doesn't have a spoolie. So I'm definitely replacing my brow brush with this one, okay? You know, sister's oily and my brows get oily. I'm gonna be using this brow pencil. It's by Beauty Creations. I have used it a few times already. It's a very, very, very thin pencil. If you guys could see, I'm doing my brows online for you to see. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put some strokes in the front. So generally I follow my micro shading line. If nothing at all, I follow the bottom of my micro shading line. And then I try to make the tops of the brows match. But of course, if you study too, too closely, you're going to notice that one side seems to be a little bit whatever compared to the other side, right? I'm using the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. I'm going to use it to hold up my hairs. I can't find my clear brow gel. 
Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in with my Elf Rich Cocoa. I can't. I don't know where my ebony is. Okay, you guys, so I absolutely love using eyeshadow primers on my eyes before I use my eyeshadow bases. And when I started doing makeup, I was using the NYX Proof It eyeshadow primer. I use it a lot, and whenever I run out, I generally go pick up a new tube. They don't have it. I'll try to order it online and <laughs> see if I can keep it. If not, then I'll just find a new NYX one. But this NYX Proof It eyeshadow primer is really, really good. Okay, I did explain it in one of my eyeshadow prep videos, the reason why I use an eyeshadow primer and an eyeshadow base. If you're somebody who wants your eyeshadow to look immaculate, you have to prep your eyes the way I do. I will put the link to how I prep my eyes for eyeshadow down below so you can check it out because my eyeshadow can literally last like a week. If I don't wash my face, it will last a week, but I have to wash my face, so... You know, if you're somebody whose eyeshadow creases or cracks or gets muddy, prep your eyes the way I do and see what happens, okay? I was looking for my Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime in the shade number 3. I can't find it, so I'm going to use the NYX, I mean, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Rich Cocoa, what I use on my brow as my base. If you watch that eyeshadow prep video that I'm gonna list down below, it will tell you exactly why I like using the e.l.f. Camel Concealer as my eyeshadow base. And it's also gonna help you decide on the best concealers to use as your eyeshadow base. Okay, so definitely check that out. I mean, you can't tell me that if you prep your eyes like this, no matter what shadow you put on there is not going to stay. Like, my eyeshadow prep game is clutch, okay? It's on point. It's not going to go anywhere. Like, we're gonna be using the BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes. Now, the reason why we're choosing BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes for today's video is because these palettes are new, um, and they're also under $20, so drugstore prices i think so especially for the quality that you get with the bh cosmetics palettes okay so we have a more in a mouthy brown based palette okay there's the puerto rico mm -mm. puerto rico mm -mm -mm. and then there's tullum dude i need to go to tullum like everybody and their mama going to tullum i want to go to tullum okay but this is the tullum palette i really like the shades in here okay and this is the paris palette it has some beautiful shades in here the whole time i thought i was recording and apparently it wasn't recording but here's what i did okay i'm taking this shade so i'm gonna be using this shade all over my eyelids okay so that's what i did i placed that shade all over my eyes and it has like a slight reflective tone to it i don't know maybe it has like pearl eyes no it doesn't I feel like it's a pearlized matte shade. I don't know how to explain it, but it's given like slight reflective nature on my eyes that I didn't know was in there. Okay, next I'm going in with this shade and I put it all over my crease and I also blended it up because it has like a slight warmth to it. It's very, very slightly warm. I don't want my eyes to be too warm. I don't want that. I want it to be as nude or neutral as possible without having too much warmth to it and i just placed it all over my eyes i'm using this brush from the set it is a huge 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 blending brush huge okay so it made everything so easy to blend in okay so next i'm going in with this shade and i'm gonna place it in my crease i had to change brushes because that first brush was too big and i didn't want it to essentially take over and go where i didn't want it to go okay so that's why i'm using the tapered brush this is more this is a number five from the kit i'm gonna place it in my crease to give 
more of a shadow I mean you can see like this part of my eye is more indented giving me more of a shadow compared to this part of my eye right it's a very deep deep brown shade and I'm literally only gonna place it on the outer crease of it and that's it I'm gonna blend it up a little bit not too much though only a little bit I love it. I love it. It is so subtle. It is very, very subtle. I'm going to do the same on this side. So I feel like for this palette, if you're somebody like me who is generally, who generally gravitates towards color, this is the perfect palette for you because once you pick it up, you will be in the nude land. Like you're going to be doing nude because of the colors in the palette. You know what I mean? I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pastel Dream Auto Eyeliner. This is the shade Marshmallow. This is Marshmallow Eyeliner. I'm gonna place it on my lower lash line. I generally don't like white in my waterline because I feel like it's too stark compared to my skin tone. Okay, so I'm gonna put some of the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime. Okay, so I'm going into the Paris palette and I'm taking this this shade. Okay, so I use the Sigma switch to take the product off the tip of this brush. I am going to go into our deep shade that I used on my lower, on my crease. I'm gonna use that on my lower lash line to sort of blend the edges of this blue out a bit because I don't want the blue to blend into that whitish kind of shade. It's not gonna look okay. Like right now it doesn't look fine, right? I'm gonna use the deep brown shade to, to sort of rein it in a bit. This looks cleaner compared to this. This looks messy and all over the place. That's what we do not want, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes with the NYX Matte Eyeliner. I'm doing a small wing liner, maybe. Ended up using ColourPop Numero Uno liner because that NYX liner was done and I need to get a new one because I really, really like that matte liner. So I'm gonna be using my lashes in the style Summer Love for this look. The price is drugstore prices, so why not include it in this look, you know? I'm gonna go in with the um, XX Revolution Nocturnal. This was supposed to be a bronzer, but the way the shade goes on, I feel like it goes on as a contour because it's very, very deep. And I really, really, really like what it looks like. I'm applying with a Juno & Co brush. I will put the Juno & Co link down below so you can check it out. Now the unexpected guest to this drugstore party is the ColourPop Sweet Roll. You guys saw me use Sweet Roll in one of my other ColourPop videos, but this is a good palette to buy, especially if you're somebody who's a beginner at makeup or if you're somebody who travels a lot and you need something to travel with. Comes with two blushes, one bronzer and one um, highlighter. I'm gonna take this one and this one, these two shades as my blush. I feel like ColourPop every now and then drops that product that will work. That, well, that works very, very well for dark skin. And this is one of those one times that they dropped a product that can actually work for us. Now, if you don't want to use those two to apply the warmth to your forehead, you can use this one because it is perfect for that as well. Okay, I'm gonna use this brownish shade. Hopefully it's not too warm as my nose contour. And it is perfect for a nose contour. 
Okay, I'm taking this shade as my highlighter. Ooh, I'm gonna be shining like the glazed donut that you didn't eat this morning. Ooh. For my lip liner, I was gonna use the Jen Atkin X Elf, but we got a few lip liners from ColourPop. This is from the National Lipstick Day um, PR. We have a ton of lip liners here. I am gonna take the shade Pitch. It's not like a black brown, it's more brown brown. So where you can see it on my lips, but it's not like as stock a contrast as the black liners typically are. I feel like a lot of you will like this lip shade. Colourpop, the pitch is one of their original lip liners that they launched. Um, there was another one, I can't remember the name of it, but I used it until there was this much left and they never actually restocked it. So the pitch, so pitch is gonna be it, okay? I definitely need to go to Ulta and get some new NYX products. But this is a NYX Push Up Lingerie Lipstick. Um, this is the shade, where's the shade? This is the shade Teddy. I'm definitely gonna have to do a lip liner um, video. We're gonna do some lipstick videos, we're gonna do some lip liner videos. It's gonna be very cute, okay? LA Girl Setting Spray. It is almost done, so we're just gonna use it. It smells like cucumber, number one. Number two, the, the, the spray, the mist is so fine. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is my finished look using drugstore products. I literally used all products that are in the range of drugstore products ranging from a few dollars to no more than $20. Of course, the highest price item that I used today was actually $17 and that was it. Let me know down below in the comments if you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below in the comments if you've tried any of these products. I cannot get over how flawless my skin looks. Like, my skin looks so good, right? I completely forgot how much I love my Ben Nye setting powder. Absolutely love this powder and I am of course going back to it. Because of what my skin looks like right now, like I cannot, I cannot, I, can, I cannot, I can't get over what, how my, how gorgeous my skin looks right now, okay? The only thing that, the only thing, the only thing that I absolutely, absolutely need to do is to go pick up some more of that NYX matte eyeliner and I also need to get some more NYX lip products because they are fantastic. This is the lingerie, lip lingerie in the, in the shade Teddy. Let me know which products you're gearing towards maybe picking up because you saw it or you've seen it on here and you're like, hmm, I didn't think about this and I might maybe try to pick this up. Oh my God. <sighs> my skin is beat for the gods, okay? Thank you. I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> oh, also, this look has given me the inspiration for my next nail color. Just know that my nail color next time is gonna be blue because I'm feeling this, okay? <laughs>